Well, welcome. Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall be glad and rejoice in it. The wonder of Advent. We've been going through the Gospel of Luke, and today we are in Luke 9. Jesus empowering and commissioning his disciples to go forth and have victory over darkness, to have the power of God that they have seen displayed in this man, this man Christ Jesus. They walked with him, they talked with him, they fellowshiped with him. And they saw many miraculous signs and wonders that have been done at the hand of Jesus, the Messiah. They were learning about who he is and was and and the disciples were. And they were at this point in uh, the gospel in, in Luke chapter 9, they were being commissioned to do the very things that they saw him do. Um, you know, when you think about this for a moment, he... The disciples had not always walked in power. There there was a point in time, there was a day that changed everything in their lives for them. It was a turnaround day, it was a turnaround moment. They had been faithfully walking with Jesus. They were learning, they were seeing, they were amazed, you know, many times even in unbelief, right? But they saw what they saw and they were being in they were literally being influenced by the ma- the maker <laughs> their maker right the he- maker of heaven or heaven and earth the creator of their souls they were being influenced and not only influenced but there was a calling on their lives there's a calling on your life as well all of your lives and as you you are gleaning from um the work of christ the the gospels of jesus christ and we listen and we and you're on this platform and every day every monday through friday going through the gospels uh, teaching on the word of God. There's impartation that's happening constantly. There's an understanding, there's an inner witness, there's an inner knowing, there's an inner transformation that's taking place of confidence, of strength, you know, that, that, that wasn't there before. Because the word of God is powerful, right? It is power. It carries power, but it is powerful. So here we see in Luke chapter 9, we see Jesus sending out 12. And he calls the 12, and I want to read to you chapter 9, verse, starting in verse 1. It says, he called his 12 disciples together, and he gave them power and authority. And it says, over all demons, right, and to cure diseases. So he gave them power, and he gave them authority. Remember, they didn't have it before, right? There's a point in time you didn't have the power and the authority. But Jesus, because you said yes to the Lord, you walked in, you and you literally received an inheritance, right? The inheritance that he has left us. And so now you have this kingdom power accessible to you as Jesus has given it to all of his believers, right? So it says here that he calls his disciples together and he gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases, okay? Not just little things, but diseases, to cure diseases. Nothing has changed. There is nothing new under the sun. This is not a new gospel. This is not a new way that God is moving. This is not a new thing that he is doing. This always was. This was always the intent of of our Lord. This was always the intent of his heart. This was always written. It is written. It is written, right? So he sent them out. He he gives them power, right? He gives them a he gives them power and authority, right? Over all demons and to cure diseases. And then it says in verse 2. He sends them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. So we see that he they are literally they, they receive the, the empowering, right? They have the impartation. Then we see the commissioning. He sends them out. So he sends them out. He commissions his 12 disciples. And we know that later on you'll see that he, he goes and he commissions the 70, right? In some versions it says. 72, right? And we know that it, in Matthew uh, 28, it says to all believers, right? You are all commissioned, empowered and commissioned to do the very same thing. So we know that this is not just speaking um, to the 12 disciples at this point in time, but it actually is for every Christian, for every believer to be empowered by Jesus and to be commissioned by him. And then in verse two, it tells us a little bit more. It says, and he sent them. He sent them to preach, to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. So when you go out and you preach the kingdom of God, when you preach that Christ is Lord, when you preach Jesus is the reason for this season, Merry Christmas, 
you know, we celebrate the birth of Christ. That's a bold statement in our day and age. But you know what? Bold is how we're to live. The righteous are as bold as a lion, right? Uh, we must be bold. We must speak out. We must preach the gospel. The kingdom of God must be preached. He sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. So when you go forth to preach the kingdom of God, opportunities will arise to heal the sick. Opportunities will arise. There will be people that God positions in your path. There will be just a natural divine setup because you're preaching the gospel. You have an intent. You have a heart. You, you are shining forth the glory of God. Jesus is your focus. He is everything to you. So you bring that out. You give that out. It's who you are. It's what Christ has done in you. You can't help but do this, right? So as you have this mentality, get ready for the divine setups. Get ready because you are preaching the kingdom, you know, and, and preaching the kingdom does not mean that you have to have a podium and a mic in your hand in order to preach the word. But every day, everywhere you go, you carry the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ deep within you. So you carry dunamis power and you've been given instruction. Go. Your instructions are to go. Your instructions are to preach the, preach the good news, preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick, right? So we know that this is exactly this is what Jesus said, right, to the disciples. Let's move on verse 3. And he said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither staffs nor bag nor bread nor money, and do not have two tunics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there and from there depart. And whoever will not receive you when you go out of that city. Shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So he's saying, I want you to go. I want you to speak forth Merry Christmas. They may not respond. They may not respond. They may say happy holidays. They may not say anything at all. It doesn't matter. You say what you need to say. You speak truth. You speak truth. The Lord loves you. Jesus is Lord. You know, you need to speak truth. And as you speak truth, you know, not everyone will receive you. And like he says, when they don't receive you, shake the dust off your feet. Don't take it personally. Don't let a spirit of intimidation get a foothold. You know, don't, don't let them get you in an uproar and get all upset. They're rejecting Christ in you, not you. They are rejecting whom you carry. They are rejecting the Lord. If they rejected him first, you know they're going to reject you because you're rejecting what you carry, what you, your belief system, right? It's Christ. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? So like Jesus said, shake the dust off your feet. Don't let it affect you in a negative way. Realize that this is the way, this is the way it goes. This is how it went for him, right? So when you're not received, shake the dust off your feet. Just shake it off as a testimony against them. It says that's a testimony against them. It is their soul that is at risk, that is in jeopardy. It, it, you know, you are the messenger. You're the messenger. That's what you are. And so they departed, verse 6. They departed and it went through the towns. And they preached the gospel and healing everywhere. They did exactly what Jesus empowered them and commissioned them to do. They went out, they preached the gospel, and they healed everywhere they went. Why? Because as you preach, the Lord Jesus is God. He is the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except for through God. No man, no man, no man comes to the Father, excuse me, except for through Christ the Son. So you must go through Christ the Son in order to get, in order for you to be saved, in order for you to know truly know who is God. Jesus, who is God, is he is the mediator between between God and man. We are to we are to accept this precious gift which is God, Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way to the Father and He's the way to heaven. As we preach the truth, and it may, and it could be any place in scripture. It doesn't have to be that place in scripture. As you preach the truth, by having sensitivity to the Holy Spirit, opportunities will present themselves for you to pray for the sick, for you to have an in-depth conversation, for you to lead someone to the Lord, for you to just give the gospel. Some plant the seed, some water the seed, and then others, they see the, the, the harvest, right? And they, and they get to 
they get to collect the harvest, right? So, but God is the one that gives the increase. So, but everyone has their position, their part, and their part in this. So, where whatever part it is that God has for you today, for certain individuals, we're, you know, we're not going to shrink back. We're gonna we're gonna rise up. We're going to do everything He has called us to do. We carry the good news. Remember, the God. When Jesus spoke to his disciples here in John in uh, Luke nine, he did. They had not received that power yet. They had not received the power yet. They saw Jesus move. They saw these miraculous things happening, and they were curious. But it wasn't until he said, "Come, gather around me." I now, and he said, "This is exactly what he says." He called them together, and he gave them. So there was a certain moment in time, and he gave them. He intentionally deposited, transferred. He gave them power and authority. He's given you. There was a moment when you received Jesus. You received the power and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, and of course that grows. The understanding of it, walking it out, walking in your authority, grows as you grow in the Word. Of course. But you received it; He gave it to you as well. And I think that's the that's, that's the point here that I'm making. But I think that's really important because you know we're celebrating Christ, we're celebrating the birth of Christ, we're celebrating you know our beautiful, wonderful, amazing Savior that was born to us in a manger, very humble beginning, right? Very humble beginning, and humility is the way to Christ. But very powerful God very powerful indeed who says i want you to walk in humility but i want you to walk in the power authority that i have given you at the same time at the same time amen we get to give forth this beautiful gospel and pray for those that god brings our way and see the incredible move of the god holy spirit and when they reject you and they will, you just dust off your feet dust that, that dust off your feet and shake it off and keep on moving forward. That's exactly what his disciples did. That's what they were instructed to do. And that's what we do as well. Amen. Amen. So this is just this, you know, verses, um, Luke 9, verses 1 through 6. When not received, shake the dust off your feet and keep going. Shake it off. Keep going. Shake it off. Keep going. You are here to please the Father. You are here to please Him, only Him. That's your goal. That's your desire. Is please. When His beloved saints, when His children do the will of God. Amen. Glory to God. So, Father, we thank you for the divine appointments that you give us today. Let us have eyes to see. Let us have sensitivity, deepen our sensitivity to the Holy Spirit, uh, deepen our understanding, our ability to understand, we here to know what you're doing. Give us the, um, give us such a strong, strong, strong discernment that we know what is truly of you and what is not, and the wisdom and discernment to be able to act upon it correctly. With you. Father, we thank you for, for entrusting us with such incredible treasures to be able to set captives free to be to be able to see the bondage and to also have the answers to be able to set captives free Jesus is the answer to be able to have that to be able to articulate to be able to by the power of the Holy Spirit to communicate that even sometimes without words because the power of God moves so strongly Father we thank you Lord increase in us let this increase in us we thank you. We trust you. We give you all praise and all glory and all honor. Lord, I bless those that are online today, those that were watching live, those who are watching the replay. I thank you for their lives. I thank you that they are committed lovers of the gospel, lovers of Jesus Christ. They are committed. Their feet are planted firmly. Lord God, I thank you that, that their tree, which is planted by the rivers, water, let it's just growing, this beautiful, beautiful tree, growing strong and bright. And even, even in Isaiah uh, 61, like an oak tree, with a strong oak tree that also brings shade and brings nourishment and brings provision to many others. So, Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen? Yes, that's right.
Shake the dust off your feet. Shake it off and keep going. Shake it off and keep going. God bless you all. I will um, see you tomorrow for those that are, um, you know, watching live in the uh, teachings Monday through Friday. So we live 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that is. But I also have House of Glory and the Miracle Service today at 10 Pacific Time. Um, so tune in today. If you come join us live, if you can, of course, in person, if you can. And if not, you can't join us in person. You can come online. And um, if you're on Facebook, you can go to our, our um, network, you can, which you go to the website. Remember, you go to any of the three. You go to kathycopola.org, go to House of Glory Church, right.org, or you can go to Mighty Wind TV. So, but it's all the same. Go to our live streaming channel, and uh, you can watch from the website, any of the websites. Um, of course, you can watch from Facebook as well. So, I mean, if you've got Roku TV, there are other ways to watch as well. You know, if you've got, if you've got the app downloaded or Mighty Wind, you can watch from Smart TV and all, all of those other apps as well. But today, 10 a.m., Standard Time, House of Glory. I encourage you to join in. I encourage you to watch. When you watch, especially if you're on Facebook, share. Share, um, you know, the, the video. Um, be a part. You guys are beautiful. You guys always comment, and it's wonderful because there's so much going on. You pray for one another. What a beautiful family. What a beautiful community. The Lord is pleased. So pleased. God bless you all. I will see you soon.